We here in the construction department of the King's Museum of Oxford believe that a new wing should be built and dedicated to a certain artist. For many years, the Oxford Museum has been stagnant and without physical growth. Henceforth, we propose a new addition. This addition will be dedicated to one of the most influential artists in the Northern Renaissance era, Johannes Vermeer. His blue and gold color scheme and brilliant use of light deserve a place to be fully displayed in their own museum ring. This new gallery will provide the ultimate experience for anyone who is a fan of Vermeer's work and for anyone else who is along for the waltz. The addition will include extravagant high ceilings with a large glass dome, complementing Vermeer's use of light, intimacy and feeling of surprise found when you first hear of Vermeer will be exemplified through the exhibits. The new wing will be equipped with two unique galleries of Vermeer's work, as well as office spaces, restrooms and even a Vermeer themed gift shop. Now come join us as we explore the possibility of this incredible project to the world of Minecraft. As you can see, we are currently walking down the pathway. Look at the pretty fireworks. This museum was built by four amazing builders, but we will not give credit to their names. Are yes, the two statues, blue and gold, to, uh, something for a mere love to use in the painting. Here is where you buy your ticket to this wing of the museum. It costs extra because we are cheap. As you can see, that these paintings are not actually the paintings of the actual thing. Like the view of the Delft. This is not a Delft. This is a tiny man doing karate against big hand. So these are placeholders for the real ones. Because Minecraft does not have the possibility of having them. We will also use the Diane and her compassions. The officer and left finger. The Saint Praxidus. The allegory of fate. Christ in the house of Martha and Mary. Woman with a pearl necklace. This will be what is in this section currently. As we walk, you will see that there is a big column. It is a very high ceiling. It was handcrafted. I have no idea what that is. This would be the art of painting, which depicts a time that it has been disrupted by the viewer of the painting. The scene remains calm. This would be the little area for a library reading and showing off the art of Vermeer. Over here, this would be where the milkmaid is, which is very calm scene, just being interrupted when milkmaid is pouring the milk. A woman would be holding a balance, which is another scene. Vermeer loved using these things. Vermeer loved using scenes where you get interrupted. Girl with Pearl Ealing. That was not one, but she, he loved also drawing women. The geographer is another one like that as well. Not a woman, but uh, he, uh, it, it interrupted in time. Here is a pretty cool waterfall that stems from the top of the building. Beautiful staircase. As you can see, this is the beautiful Among Us statue. Well, first, let me show you the beautiful night sky to this spikeless. I am not very good at this. I look at the moon. The moon is very, very pretty. It is currently cres uh, a crescent moon. It is going to become a new moon eventually. This is the great Among Us statue. This has nothing to do with Vermeer, but we thought it would be funny to add because Among Us is funny. 
back down to staircase. We will now head to the offices. There's a nice little king trapped in up there. The offices are right over here. This will be for while the manager and these uh, code workers will be working. This is what they will have the offices. There is a nice little coffee machine stuffed up in my code with. What does this little switch do? It is a little light that came. I think it was at the contraption we saw up there. Oh no, I was experiencing some lag. Next we will go to the gift shop. These, you can buy Vermeer themed t-shirts, blue and gold. You can also take home a replica of a beautiful Vermeer painting. There is the cashier. And here are some more things you can buy that are generally blue and gold and more painting. Now, if you are a bad child, if you are a bad customer, if you are a very bad person, you will be taken to detention down in the dungeon. Do not fool around kids. This is especially for kids because we know they like to touch the art even more than adults. You will be put in here until you are done, until your parents decide to take you out. And if they forget, we will feed you to the sharks. Now I will show you the outside of it. This museum is very big, very beautiful. The outside is even more magnificent. Very beautiful. Oh, look at that. We triggered the fireworks. Look at that. The smokestacks, the beacons, which are blue. Very beautiful. There is the Amagos statue, which did glass dome. There is the water reservoir, 40. Bathrooms. Oh wait, I forgot to show you the bathrooms yet. I will show you that. That is where the waterfall starts. There is also a tiny little river with lots of lots of wildlife. Such as bees, pandas, and all sorts of animals. This is the woman's restroom. We also have fish tank mirror. The men's restroom is even better. Because we have urinals. Remember kids, do not touch the do not use the metal urinal. It is against the broke code. But look at the cute little uh, accelerators. Well, that is about it for the tour. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Now, if you want early access to this, or if you want to be a contributor, if you want to be a patron for this magnificent building, then you should give us your credit card information and your social security number. Thank you for touring the museum with me. And have a good night.